Hey guys, it's Melissa Martini with Melissa Martini Designs. Today I want to introduce you to a new software I found. It's called Splash Top, and actually what it is for is remotely accessing your computer at home, or you know, if you're having some tech support problems, somebody can remotely access and like walk through whatever you're going through. But I have found that this works to remotely access your silhouette while you're away from home, so you can design on the go. So it's actually kind of neat, and it is free. So we just went to splashtop.com. You go over to personal, and you're going to click on get the app. Now on your phone or your iPad, you want to get the personal app. That right there is going to control your computer. So you'll click on iPad or click on phone, whichever one you have, that's where you'll get your app. On your actual computer, you need the Splash Top Streamer. So you're going to install over here depending on if you have Windows or Mac. Once you install, it's going to have you set up a username or password on your computer. You'll put that together and then you will go over to your device and log in using that username or password and it will send you an email to verify that it is in fact you that's logging into your computer before it will allow your device on there. You only have to do that one time, but once you get it all logged in, then you are ready to go. So go ahead and download those and then we'll switch over to the iPad so I can show you how that all works. Okay, so now we're going to open up the iPad, and the first thing you want to do is go ahead and look for Splash Top in the App Store. Now, I see it come up, but I am going to search for it twice because I see it's $9.99, and I know I just downloaded it for free on my phone, so I'm just making sure there wasn't a free version. We're just going to go ahead and install it, let it download, and it just takes a few seconds for the whole thing to process. Okay, so once it's downloaded, just go ahead and find it on your iPad and open it up. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and create a Splash Top account. I'm going to go ahead and log into mine. Okay, so now we're logged in. It's going to tell you to make sure that the Splash Top streamer is running on your computer. Now you see your computer will be listed here if it is running. So I'm just going to click on my computer and change the resolution if you need to. I'm going to do fit this device. Just give it a second to load. Okay, so now that we have everything downloaded and we have chosen our MacBook, this is, you're actually looking at the screen on my iPad right now, and it shows me exactly what is on my desktop. So you're able to really design on the go by doing this. You can go over here and select your text tool. We can, right here at the bottom right-hand side, there's a keyboard, so you can access the keyboard. We'll just type the word hello. We're gonna make the keyboard go back down. We can hold down the pen. Sorry, just drag it to select all the letters. We'll go over here to our text style box. We can go through and choose any text that we want to use. Let's go with, I'm gonna do blink. And of course, all of your text or all of your fonts that are on your computer will be on here because it's just imaging your computer. You can click the word, hold down with your pen or your finger and go down to weld so the letters will weld. Then we're going to just zoom in a little bit so we can grab these corners of the boxes. So we can make our word a little bit bigger and then back back out again. Let me put this textile box back. Okay, so I'm gonna say hello. The only thing that's kind of weird is grabbing these um, corner boxes. I feel like I need to zoom in to be able to grab them correctly, but you can kind of play around with that to see what works for you. So let's say hello, and we'll go back here. I'm going to get my keyboard. Let me get back over here to my text tool. And then we're just going to type this out and put my text box back down. I want to select 
all of this. Let's see if I can start over here. And then we're gonna go over here to blank. Now the cool thing about this app is that you can actually remotely access your computer. So if you're traveling or you're working or whatever, you can, as long as it's on your computer, you'll be able to access it on your iPad. So yes, like I said, it's a little bit, um, so that one doesn't have a apostrophe, let's say I am. It's a little bit annoying for some little things like stretching out the words, but once you figure out exactly what you're doing, you'll be able to. Like when I first started playing with this, I wasn't able to stretch out the words at all. So I'm a little bit better at doing it now and I've only been playing with it for a few minutes. So um, we'll go ahead and select all of this stuff. We can go to our align tool and align everything. You can hold down your finger or your pen and go down to group. So we group everything together. You can even save it. File, save as. Let me click hold down here, save to hard drive, and we'll go back to our keyboard and say hello. And I'm going to put it on my desktop, hit OK. And now if we actually go over here, because this is the computer like I told you before, so we'll just minimize these things. And you see my file is right here on my desktop. And this is actually on my computer as well. So I'll show you all a screenshot of the computer. So anyways, fun way to design on the go, fun way to play, put things together. If you are needing to get a lot of stuff done, but you're not directly at your computer. And best thing is that you can access all your fonts. So, all right, guys, if you have any questions or comments, please sure to leave them in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed watching this and I hope it helps you out on your designing journeys. Have a good day. I just realized since I was mirroring my screen that you couldn't see what I was doing on the iPad. And so I just wanted to add a little video at the end to show you the actual process as a screen grab on the iPad. So I'm just logging in. It's showing us the hints for the gesture. We're going to go over and select the text tool, type out our text. This is the keyboard at the bottom right hand side that I was referring to. And we'll just highlight everything, go over and select a font from our font list. Once again, we do have everything accessible to us. I'm zooming in a little bit so I can grab those boxes I was telling you about. You'll see right here that I don't grab it, but we'll go click it again. And this time I grab it. So sometimes it's a little bit tricky, but it is fun to work with. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Have a great day.